If you're interested in learning about cybersecurity, IT, security compliance, risk management framework, how to advertise yourself in IT and cybersecurity, check us out on ConvoCourses.com. We've got free courses. It's free to sign up, and I'm always releasing new stuff on there. All right, let's go. All right, let's get started. So we're going to be talking about something a little bit different. Normally what I do is I go through jobs, break all of those jobs down, and then talk about like how to get the jobs, and then I break down what the employer wants to see. But today we're going to do some actual training. Now if you're interested in this training, if you want to go deeper, if you want to deep dive, because I'm only going to cover like a few security controls, but if you want to deep dive, if you really want to know this stuff, then I have a couple of courses for you. I've got a risk management information system security officer foundations course if you want to actually know it from scratch. This is not for entry level type person. The risk management framework foundations is going to assume that you have some level of IT uh, background and from there I build on what you already know and it walks you through how to get into risk management framework, how to do the actual information system security officer work. So if you want to deep dive into this, go to ConvoCourses.com and go check those courses out. I also have this, what you're about to see as one slice of some of the stuff that I'm putting into a new course that I'm developing right now. And if you want to have a full blown, you want to really check it out. I've got a free, the first portion of the course is actually free right now. If you go to ConvoCourses.com, you sign in. And you can actually see the context of what I'm talking about. And there's a lot of really good stuff. But right now, let's get into access controls and some of the documentation. Let me see. All right. So here are the access controls. These are actually, these are all the security controls. And why you're seeing two sets of these is that one is from Risk Management Framework 37 version one and one at the bottom one is from version two that's coming that's already out right now but uh, there's a set of NIST 853 controls that are coming soon and so that's what you're seeing right now on the screen the the top one you're seeing is from the current version of the NIST 853 controls the bottom one is the one that's in draft right now but it should be out I think this year they recently pushed it out to some other date. So anyway, so that's what you're seeing. You're seeing access controls. You're seeing AT controls, training controls, MP controls, media protection, physical controls, all these different controls, right, that I'm going to cover all of these in the training, right? I'm going to be releasing them month over month until we get all the way to the end. And then I'll also ask questions if, if you purchase the actual uh, course. But right now we're going to focus on just AC controls and just a few of those AC controls, by the way. It's going to be many, many lessons to actually break down all that just AC controls. There's 25 of them right now as of the time of this recording. All right. So first of all, what are access controls? So access controls are what an organization uses to control. It's not just uh, logical con controls, not just access to the information, but it also includes access to the system itself. So some of that is in there, but it also includes things like roles. This is going to include things like role-based privileges. It's going to include things like separation of duties. There's a lot of different things, but let's talk about access. What is access? It's the ability to make use of any system or resource. So somebody walks into your facility and they want access to your servers, right? They need access. So access control is the process of granting or denying specific requests and obtaining, obtaining access to that information is what we're talking about here. And so the NIST 800 controls actually goes through a breakdown of how an organization goes about managing access to the infor 